Good morning, Belen. I'm Enrique Sorin. And I'm Michael Fresco. Welcome to this edition of WBLN in the Middle for today, January 22, 2016. The Miami Herald Silver Knight Award is one of the nation's most highly regarded student awards programs. The year's seven Belen students have been Michael Cairo in speech, Alexander Alepus in mathematics, Jonathan Garcia in journalism, Daniel Romeo in English and literature, Rodrigo Bustamante in world languages, Andres Marquez in general scholarship, and Daniel Brennan in athletics. The purpose of this award program is to recognize outstanding students who have not only maintained good grades, but have also unselfishly applied themselves special knowledge and talents to contribute significant service to their schools and communities. Silver Knight is a very prestigious award. It's, I'm very honored to have been nominated for it. And just being among that pool of applicants, being within that Silver Knight community, I think is going to have a lot of benefits going forward. The Silver Knight Awards program was instituted at the Miami Herald in 1959 by John S. Knight, past publisher of the Miami Herald, founder and editor of Emeritus of Knight Rider newspaper, and the 1968 Pulitzer Pride Award. This award is something that really says that the person is a member of the community that cares, that contributes back to the community, that tries to do the best in everything they do for themselves personally, and they go out of their way to really help others. So it shows a dedication to self, community, others, and generally everybody around us. The program is open to high school seniors with a minimum 3.2 GPA unweighted in public, private, and parochial schools in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Students may be nominated in 15 categories, art, athletics, business, drama, English, and literature, general scholarship, journalism, mathematics, music and dance, new media science, social science, speech vocational, te technical, and world languages. Each school may nominate one student per category. Good luck, guys. The Respect Life Club will take part in the March for Life in Washington, D.C. today. The mission of the march is to provide all Americans with the place to testify to the beauty of life and dignity for each human person. The march in Washington, D.C. began as a small demonstration and rapidly grew to be the largest pro-life event in the world. The March for Life 2016 rally will take place at noon on the grounds of the Washington Monument. The rally will host 13 guest speakers, including presidential candidate Carly Fanora. Belen Jesuit Junior Thespians Troop 88710 received three critics' choice at the District 4 competition in November of 2016. All the sponsors in the district voted one of critics' choice to represent District 4 at the opening ceremonies of the 2016 Junior Thespian State Festival in Longwood, Florida. Belen Jesuit's Troop 88710 duet acting scene with Christian Perez and Heinz Ludeking was chosen to represent District 4 and perform at the opening ceremonies of the 2016 Junior Thespian State Festival. Congratulations, guys. 80 students and teachers will return this weekend from participating at this year's close-up. Students and teachers braved freezing temperatures to the visit of the Washington Memori M Memorial, Lincoln Memorial, World War II Memorial, and the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. During Capitol Hill Day, seven Belen alumni spoke to the students and teachers in the House Foreign Affairs Committee. A guided tour of the Capitol included seeing the statue of Dr. John Gore of Florida in the Statuary Hall. Juniors were also able to take a picture with the st statue of Father Kino, SJ, in the Capitol Visitors Center. Stay tuned as we bring you weather and sports after these messages. Be sure.
better weather for this weekend. This weekend is not going to be quite as nice as this past week because of the cold front coming in from the northwest. Let's take a look at our map. As you can see, the pressure used to be in central Florida. Now it's going to shift down towards Miami and Homestead and Key Largo in the Keys. So let's take a look at our temperatures. The temperature for this weekend will be 74 degrees at a high and 60 degrees at a low. The humidity is going to be 72% humidity. The, wind, the top wind speeds are going to be 21 miles per hour. Storms and winds are to be expected. And precipitation is 90% chance. All right, so Saturday we should have a high of, seven, of 67 and a low of 47. On Sunday, it should be bright and sunny with a high of 65 and a low of 52. And on Monday, it should be stormy with a high of 72 and a low of 64. All right, this was our Belen for the, this was our weather for this weekend. Thank you for watching. Congratulations to the middle school basketball team for their win at Gulliver. The final score was 53-26. to Sebastian McGraw had 8 points, while Victor Major had 7 points, finishing the contest going 5-6 for six from the free throw line. Andy Chavez and Sebastian Lazo each had strong efforts contributing 7 points apiece. The junior varsity basketball team defeated Terra High School by the score of 65-39. to The team was led by Marco Stager with 11 points, Lorenzo Lucis with 10 points, and Christian Tinoco with 8 points. The varsity basketball team is now 17 and 4 as they defeated Terra 54 to 22. Top scorers for Belen: David Salazar with 12 points, AJ Consuegra with 11 points, and Alec Rodriguez with 8 points. The sixth grade baseball team defeated St. Thomas 10 to 4 and improved their record to 2 and 0 in the ACC. Matthew Humbres pitched 2 and 3 at 2 out of 3 innings and did not allow an earned run in, the, in getting the win. Michael Carras Corral Close the game, striking out three and one and one in, out of three innings. Rao Aspuro had two RBI for the Wolverines and played outstanding defense. That's all for sports. Now back to you guys. Be sure to follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook for all the latest news and pictures. I'm Enrique Sori. I'm Michael Fresco. And from everyone here at WBLN, have, have a, a wonderful, wonderful day. day. Thanks for watching and stay golden, Wolverines.